Our darling baby, Madeline Miles, died 1905 at 22 months of age. Finding the forgotten grave of a toddler hidden deep within the woods, these people say it is chilling. As a mother, and I have two daughters, I can't imagine, um, you know, what this lady went through when she lost this child. And to look at the grave today, um, it just, it breaks my heart. It seems like nobody cares, but it is people. Many of these headstones are broken. Others are toppled, embedded deep into the forest canopy. What was once a church cemetery in the Steels Hill neighborhood of Glace Bay is now overrun by decades worth of thorns and thick brush. Weldon Yates first noticed the graveyard as a child 65 years ago. He says it was in good shape then. We used to come out here and play, but now it's, it's like a jungle. Now it's, 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 a, it's a disgrace. Now, some nearby residents are hoping something can be done to restore these people's final resting places. But the job would be big. Not only would the headstones have to be restored, there is also the matter of cutting down all of this brush. Some main power, some brush cutters, and probably a backhoe to clean it all off and then reseed it and just put the headstones where, where you find them. Yates says the cemetery dates back to 1903, but was largely abandoned in the 1920s when a new church was built along with a new cemetery. The last person to be buried here was in 1949. A spokesperson for the Diocese of Antigonish says that individual parishes are responsible for the upkeep of cemeteries. But for long-abandoned graveyards like this, the money usually just isn't there. I would, I would think that it would have to be volunteer-driven, and, and uh, both with the personnel who would be doing it and, and, and the funds that would be required to restore it. While the task may be great, these folks say making people aware is a good first step. Open some people's eyes and get the, get the graveyard back in shape for the, for the, for the sake of the, 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 the people at rest. It just shouldn't be left in this condition. And, you know, it's in a respect. An effort to ensure that while the people buried here may be gone, they will not be forgotten. Ryan McDonald, CTV News, Glace Bay.